So when you feel like hope is gone, look inside you and be strong. Then you finally see the truth that a hero lies in you. So 
like,
I'm going to study education abroad, and my best moment in HIS is when I met David's son. Um, to say to my mom, thank you for always being there and supporting me and being um, so caring and listening to me whenever I need someone to talk to. Um, just because I'm going to college doesn't mean I'm not going to be around for you whenever you need someone to talk to. And Dad, thank you for always being there and listening to me whenever I need to talk to you about anything and everything. And I mean everything. Um, thank you for always giving me your best advice. And stay strong. And I love you both very much. speech because it was hard to put feelings into words. At HIS, where I spent three years of my life, I have learned a lot from my teachers and my peers. I feel that we have exceptional and passionate teachers at our school, and they not only taught me things academically, but they also taught me things like, yes, teacher can, teachers can be our friends too. What makes up a big part are the student population, and because HIS is such a small community, we at least know each other's name and no one is a stranger here. High school, of course, is not easy. I mean, have you not seen movies like Mean Girls? <laughs> I know that people in my class have experienced quite a lot of high school drama 
and well, I think we can all learn something from it. And I hope people will forget the bad and only remember the good. Also, I'm glad that at the end of our senior year, our class is somewhat more together. Good job, guys. Finally. <laughs> I have a bunch of people I want to thank tonight. Oh, and I want to first thank whoever, I forgot who, <laughs> got me to start playing Dota because I really enjoyed that game. <laughs> who was it? Oh, come. We did it. Okay. And then first, I mean next, I'm going to thank Lauren because I know she wants to be first out of the people in our class. So, you know I like you the most, right? <laughs> hey. So mean. <laughs> uh, I have favorites. <laughs> Sorry. So, Stephanie, uh, you are awesome as well. Thank you for being my friend at HIS. I'm glad that we got closer during this year. I'm thankful for that. And Ira, do I need to say anything? She is Ira Lines, people. <laughs> okay. Melody, always been cool with me, and you're really good at Tetris. And, uh, and last time you beat Chi Hung. <laughs> We're really proud of you. <laughs> and uh, Elaine, John, Jeremy, thank you guys for being part of the class. <laughs> I'm not missing anyone. <laughs> um, uh, okay. Yeah, tears. <laughs> okay. I won't say anything bad, okay? <laughs> Uh, I swear that because of you, I am immune to all fat jokes for the rest of my life. <laughs> Simply because I have heard them all. <laughs> um, Iris, who says I'm an alien from Venus, that's funny because I'm from Earth. <laughs> and David's son, of course, who walks into the classroom like a boss every morning. And the Dota people, Vincent and Jean. Uh, especially Gene because he's always helping me in Dota and he's, he's a really good team player. And I always want him on my team, I'm always fighting for Gene. He has to be on my team. <laughs> and yes, and Alan for kicking our butt in Dota. <laughs> and then the people outside of class, some aren't here. Connie, Grace, Savannah, Peggy. Peggy. <laughs> Where is she? <laughs> Hi, Peggy! <laughs> and then Jess, who's also not here. Okay. Uh, and also, to where are you? Where's Eugene? Let's do this. <laughs> oh, 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 I told you not to record. No, okay. Not recording. Okay. Now, so to Eugene, who I've known for what feels like ten years and who has been with me through everything. I'm excited that you came to my graduation, even though I didn't go to yours. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, you know we are friends for life, right? <laughs> And I also want to especially thank a teacher, uh, Miss Daly, who's always been so considerate of me and always looking out for me. Uh, I feel touched and I can't thank you enough. And of course, thank you to my parents and all this would not have been pos possible without your support. Can you believe that we're all graduating? <laughs> Pose my short speech to Vivian's long speech. And <laughs> usually I'm not good at making speeches, but here I'm on fire today, so. <laughs> anyway, I realized that a lot of your speeches were about the past or the future, so I'm going to tell, you know, everyone he has heard the quote, today is a gift, so it's called the present. I just want to say that we're graduating today, and I'm today, right now, I'm standing here. I'm not looking at my future. I'm looking at right now. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> so, I just want to spread my words like herpes. Like, 
<laughs> like herpes that okay there are these phrases that I go by one is don't fawn don't compromise even if you do don't sell out your soul or your goals yeah and there are others but I forgot <laughs> so anyway I'm really glad that I'm getting out of here right now <laughs> so yeah, I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> Today I'll 
be graduating from HIS. I'll be going to CCA in San Francisco. Yeah. Yeah. My best moment at HIS is when I first walked into a classroom like a boss. <laughs> lessons and supporting me and bringing me to HIS. Uh, like a boss. <laughs> speech didn't happen. <laughs> didn't happen. I'm just gonna come here and talk. Hmm. Oh, Mr. Butcher will be very long. <laughs> it's gonna be very long. Um, no, it's not gonna cut short. It'll be entertaining. Trust me. <laughs> I remember last time I had to give a speech was three years ago. I was running for treasurer, and for some reason the speech ended up with me talking about how I wouldn't mind working at McDonald's for the rest of my life. <laughs> I think some of you remember that. I'd like to think that I've changed a lot from that time, but honestly I haven't. I'm, I still might work, end up working at McDonald's, but guess what? I'll be a guy working at McDonald's with a high school diploma now. That's very rare, actually. Then back to the topic, in fact, if, if, if I've changed, like, when I first walked in here, I was like, yeah, we did it, you know? Yeah, senior power, you know? We did it, we did it. And then after that, I was like, did what? <laughs> what have we accomplished? What have we really done? Made what? Made it. And then I started thinking about it, and I was like, wow, I really haven't done anything. <laughs> And the thing is, you know, this is a lesson. We, we haven't gotten anywhere. We should, we're, we're happy now, but we're all at the beginning, you know. We're, this is the beginning of the road. And I'm sure, like, the seniors from last year know that graduating, it isn't that much. You know, it's, it's just a, it just marks the beginning of something. It doesn't end anything. Nothing ends because nothing really happened. <laughs> but then again, when I look around, and I'm up here now, I figure out what I did do. And it is that it's, I met a whole bunch of awesome friends. And, um some great teachers that have taught me to learn through experience and I, I see that my parents love me a lot and my dad's a really good photographer. <laughs> I 
No, you just have an overpriced camera, Dad. Yeah. Tell you about my parents. Mom, Dad, I love you so much and thank you. Thank you for feeding me. Thank you for taking care of me. Thank you for loving me. And most of all, thank you for paying for my tuition. There will be a lot more of that. And I would like to thank Kevin. Kevin, you are the best, man. I mean, thank you for, for going after your dreams, chasing your dreams, going to music school. You could be a rock star someday. You know? And seeing you go after your dreams and go out and accomplish what you want to do has made me want to do, like, go chase my dreams and do what I want to do. And it's made it a lot easier. Because trying to convince your parents to let you do political science as a major is a lot easier than trying to convince them to let you do music. <laughs> Smooth ride. No problem. <laughs> I'd like to thank the teachers for, uh, putting up with our crap. I know we haven't been the smartest class or the most enthusiastic class. But you at least pretended like you wanted to teach us. <laughs> Especially Mr. Butcher. <laughs> Thank you. And I know you welcome us back, but really, you don't really want to see us. <laughs> you won't be seeing us in a few weeks. We'll be playing computer games in the library. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Boyle. <laughs> and lastly, um, I want to thank my class. I'm not going to name all of you because I just don't want to. <laughs> I think, uh, although I've given you a lot of crap and I've been mean to some of you, <laughs> but we're still friends, right? We're, we're senior class, right? We are, we're together on this, right? We're, we're, we're the senior class, the class of 2011, so we're going to meet up again. It's not, nothing's over. We're going to meet up again. Like half of you I'm going to see on Monday. And, <laughs> And, and really, like, let's not lose touch. And if we do lose touch, we probably weren't friends in the first place. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. I'm not, I'm not gonna cry. No way, I'm not gonna cry. I, I, I promised myself I wouldn't cry. I'd cry outside. In the <laughs> I hope that all of us can get, go out and graduate with a lot of experience. And we can go out and meet new people. I hope that we can go out and succeed in our own definition of success. Success doesn't mean getting money. For me, it could mean working at McDonald's if I'm happy. <laughs> Although my parents wouldn't be happy. <laughs> but I hope, as long, I hope, like, for the most, I hope we're all happy. And we are, for the next step, whether you're working or you're going to college, I'm sure all of us will do really well. And the last thing is, um, I, I was trolling on the internet, like Mr. Hunter, and I was looking for a quote. Looking for a quote. <laughs> I was looking for a quote, and I, I found a whole bunch of quotes, so I'm going to just throw them in right now, because I don't know how to make a speech, so I'm just going to throw them in right now. Uh, two of them. Anyways, the first one said, um, anything worth teaching, uh, anything worth knowing can't be taught. I don't think that's true for all of us. I don't think that's, I think that's very wrong, because if all of us learn by experience, none of us would be graduating today. <laughs> And I hope you take that on, you take that to college. Because you party too hard and you fail, you're not graduating college. <laughs> Alright, thank you. That's all I have to say. How am I going to compete with that? <laughs> no, um, all, all the teachers today were talking about um, how you're an individual and how everything is like you can make a difference well my favorite thing in the entire world like my favorite book favorite movie favorite everything <laughs> it says, says the exact opposite it says you are not a special and unique snowflake but I might be a little bit a little bit more convinced that I am now after hearing you guys Holy moly. <laughs> <Help me up. laughs> but it also says that you are not uh, the car you drive, you are not the money in your bank account, you are not your khakis, right? And that's true. Don't go, don't go and 
place all that emphasis on like your money and your car and your wife and your whatever, you know, or your husband, you know. But I mean, for the next four years, you're going to be in college, and none of that's going to be that interesting anyway. I mean, who wants to go to work after you go to college, huh? Exactly. You guys know what I'm talking about, especially teaching us. <laughs> No, but I really want to thank the teachers for helping us out as a class. Like, sure, some of us, we don't show up all the time. Some of, hey, including myself, including myself. Um, some of us aren't the easiest to teach. Uh, but, you know, you got through it, we got through it. You know, I'm happy about that. <laughs> and I want to thank my mom for all her hard work and everything she's done for me. To try and don't cry. Uh, gotta crack a joke. Um, <laughs> no, um, but thanks, mom, for everything. And guys, if you guys, if I'm ever in a position of power towards any of you, and you guys want need need help for anything, at don't at McDonald's. <laughs> if I'm manager and you're the clerk, don't. <laughs> Don't be scared to ask me for a few more hours. I mean, seriously, don't be scared to ask me for anything. I'll be there for you guys. And also, I hope you'll do the same for me, please. So I think I'll need it more than you guys will. <laughs> um, and Miss Chen and Miss Ye, thanks for making it easy uh, to, to get my college apps done. You know, with all the running around getting my transcripts and fixing my name and stuff. And yeah, thank you all. And thank you guys for electing me president. <laughs> Was fun. Elaine Chu.
Lauren。Ladies and gentlemen, this is the class of 2011. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> okay, it's actually your pictures are uh, on the cake. Thank <laughs> you. 